In this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how you can connect Printify to Shopify, which will help you set up and scale your print on demand business. And so the first step to getting your print on demand products available on your Shopify store is creating a Printify account. And so the way that you're going to first create a Printify account is by going to printify.com. Once you go there, you're going to land on this page. You're gonna see create and sell custom products and you can get started for free. And so I would suggest scrolling down further on this page so that you can see the different products that you have available to you, as well as the steps to get set up on the Printify side. And so we will cover all of these steps and a few more so that you can see these products on Shopify. And if we scroll even further down, we can see some of the top selling products. And so we have t-shirts, sweatshirts, mugs, hoodies, kids clothing and stickers and so whatever you feel like selling within your printify shop you are able to sell for free with printify and what's really great about printify is that you do not get charged or you don't have to pay any money up front unless there is a sale and so we're going to click sign up in the upper right hand corner so that we can create an account and so it's going to ask for our email as well as our password and so one suggestion that I have before actually creating a Printify account is creating your own business email. And so you can create a free email with Gmail, Yahoo, or iCloud when you're just getting started. And so once you create that, it'll take about five to 10 minutes. You can come back to this page and enter in an email and password and then click sign up. Once you're signed up, it's gonna say, welcome, what brings you to Printify? And so you're gonna read through the options. Let's go with, I'm new to selling online and want to start. And then we're gonna click on individual as most people are just getting started and are a one person business. Next, it's gonna ask, what do you have experience with? We're gonna say just starting out, no experience whatsoever. And here I would suggest going with the United States. No matter where you live across the world, the US has a lot of high paying customers. And so you're gonna get a lot more money with US clients versus clients in other countries. And so we're gonna go with US and then click next. How'd you hear about us? Let's go with YouTube. And so now your Printify shop is successfully set up. Now it's time for step two, which is setting up a Shopify store. And so there's a really good discount running right now. And so all you need to do is scroll down to the description and you're gonna click start an e-commerce business. That's gonna then take you to this page right here. And so you can start your free trial and enjoy three months of Shopify for just $1. And so you're gonna sign up by entering in your email and then you're gonna click start free trial. And so once you enter in an email and password, you're gonna click create Shopify account. And so in order to get started, we're gonna go ahead with an online store and then hit next. And then which of these best describes you? We're just starting out. Next is gonna ask us what we wanna sell. And we're gonna go with print on demand products and then hit get started. And so we have a couple of options. We have the basic Shopify and advanced plan. You can get everything that you need with the basic plan and you can get started free for three days, then $1 a month for the next three months. And so let's hit try basic to get started as that's the best plan and can give you everything that you need. And so you can enter in your credit card information right now, or you can enter it in later. You just wanna make sure that once you get your Shopify store up and running, you don't want Shopify to cancel your account and miss out on sales. And so they're very good about letting you know when they're gonna charge your account. And so if you have that available, you could enter it in. If not, you can click, I'll do this later. And so what we wanna do next is get our Shopify store link so that we can then connect it to our Printify account. Now I'm gonna head back over to Printify. I'm going to go to my new store and then I'm going to click add a new store. This is how we're going to connect our Printify account to Shopify. And so we can connect our Printify account to Shopify for free. And so we're going to click connect to Shopify. Here we're going to enter in our domain, which we were able to find by going to settings within Shopify. Once we do that, we're going to hit connect. It's going to then take us back to our Shopify store where we're going to install the Printify print on demand app. This will be the first app that we'll have available in our store. And so what we do wanna do is pin the app so that we can easily find it within our Shopify dashboard. They are gonna ask us to enter in our password again. So once we do so, we're gonna hit sign up. And so now we have access to our Printify account with 
in Shopify. It's now time to design and upload our first product. So by far the easiest way to create a design for your print on demand business is with Canva. So I'm gonna head over to canva.com. You can find an easy to access link in the description below that'll give you a 30 day free trial. And so what you will need to do is you will need to sign up and create an account. And so once you create a Canva account, you're gonna be taken to this page right here, which is your dashboard. You're gonna see all of the recent designs that you've done available, but if this is a new account, you won't see any existing designs. And so what you're gonna to do to create your first design is you're gonna to go to custom size and you're gonna type in 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. And so this is going to be what you use to create your first design. And so when just starting out, what's recommended is that you create a very simple text design. And so typically t-shirts or sweaters or any apparel can have just text, have just a graphic or have both text and a graphic. But plain text does very well and is simple to do. So let's do that first. And so I'm gonna click text and then I'm gonna add a text box here and then I'm gonna create a straightforward design. So we're just gonna go with a simple design that says CEO born since 2020. I am going to center align this design. Then I'm gonna change the font. A very popular font is League Spartan. And so I'm gonna change the font to League Spartan. I'm also going to shorten the distance or line spacing between the text. I'm also gonna change the text color to white because the most popular shirts are darker color shirts. And so I'm gonna change the text to white and I'm going to change the background to black. And so we have CEO born since 2020. This would be a shirt that customers would be able to customize and change the date. And so anytime customers can add a personalized date, time, or name, they're typically willing to pay more for the item that they are buying. And so this is just an example of a t-shirt design for entrepreneurs. You can create the design how you like. If you'd like me to go through my process of how I go about designs, let me know in the comments below. But this is a great example for this particular video. And so once the design is done, you're gonna hit share in the upper right hand corner. You're gonna go to download, you're going to click on PNG as it's best for complex images and illustrations. And then you do want to save it as a transparent background. And so once you have this design done, you want to head back over to your Printify dashboard within Shopify. And so what you're going to do is you're going to click on create your first product. It's going to take a minute to load. Once it loads, you're going to click on the item that you want to sell your design on. And so one of the most popular t-shirt designs is the Bella Canvas 3001. You cannot go wrong with this shirt as it's very comfortable and very popular. And so we're going to go with this particular item for this example. And so I can start selling this t-shirt for the cost of $11.07. But the great thing about Printify is that you do not pay any money upfront. You only pay money once a customer makes a purchase. And so you're going to click start designing. And so with Printify, you can take a tour. It's going to show you how to use the different features. And so the way that you upload your design is that you're going to drag and drop. I recommend you save the design on your desktop and then drag it to the window screen. And so once you drop your design, it's going to appear. Right now we don't see it because we have a white t-shirt. What we want is to click on a darker color t-shirt design, and then we will see our design show up. And so as you see, it says CEO born since 2020. And so what we want to do is click the design and we want to make sure it's centered on the t-shirt. Next, we're going to go to preview. And then once we go to preview, we're going to see different mock-ups of the shirt. And so we can click show more to see even more mock-ups. And so we have just the shirt on a blank background or we have it on an actual person. And so we have CEO born since 2020 on a woman model. And then we have a man model as well showing how the design looks on the shirt. And so to me, this design looks good. Now we're gonna to go to save product. Once we save the product, we're congratulated. Yes, congratulations on setting up your store. You can now start creating and publishing products to make your store more visible and start making sales. So we can continue to create products or we can go back to that particular item that we listed. And so we're gonna to go to go to my products. That's where we can see our first design that we've created. And so it's available right here. As you see, it's currently unpublished. In order to get it to show up on Shopify, we would need to publish it. What you'll need to do is click on the listing. And then at the top of the listing page, it has the shirt mock-up. And then scrolling further down, it has the title of the item, the description, as well as important tags. 
and we can say enable personalization or not, this particular shirt does have personalization. We have three shipping options. We have economy, standard, and express. The more expensive the shipping means the quicker the customer will get the item. And then we also have a shipping profile as well as pricing options for the shirt. And so we do wanna make sure to look at pricing carefully because we wanna make sure that we're selling all of our items at a profit. And then further down, we have publishing settings. We have product visibility, hide in store or not. Do we wanna show out of stock items, yes or no? I personally recommend not showing out of stock items because you don't want a customer to purchase an item, get super excited about it, and then it not be available. And then at the end, we have sync product details. And so typically I have all of these checked just to make sure the most recent updates I make are gonna be showing on the product listing. And so you will enter in all of these details. ChatGPT will be very helpful as you're filling this out. You can ask it about tags, you can ask about shipping, you can ask about pricing strategies for print on demand. And so once everything is set up and looking good, you're gonna make sure not to select hide in store. And so when we do click publish, it's going to publish to our Shopify store. And so we're gonna hit got it. And so now we have a $5 coupon, plus we should be able to see our product visible on our Shopify store. And so we're gonna go over to products. And so as you see here, the product is now visible on our Shopify store. And so we had the description that was uploaded as well as the title. It looks like none of the images uploaded. So we can go back to Printify and see what happened. And so we're gonna go to the app, click on our product and see if we had selected any of our images to show. So we're gonna go to my products and then click here. And so it looks like we had a publishing error. And if you do get an error like I did, it's best to just start over or create a copy of the design. And so the way that you would create a copy is you would click this duplicate icon and it'll just duplicate the existing listing that you have. And so here is a copy of the design. And so we're gonna click into Shopify so that we can see the copy. So it looks like there's just a minor issue. The system was just getting set up it looks like we do have the description, we do have the images, we have the color variants as well as the sizes that are now available within our Shopify store. And so in order to preview the product as well as its description, we're gonna click preview. And so here we see CEO born since 2020. And so to the left, we have the color options. We can choose dark gray, dark gray heather, deep heather, as well as Storm. And so the picture changes based off the color and we didn't have to manually set that up. In addition, we have the different size options available. And so once we get the picture that looks good and the description as well as the different color and sizes available, we now are good to go. And we have our first product listed on our Shopify store. And we haven't had to pay any money up front in order to set this up. And so a few features that I wanna call out real quick within the Shopify store are collections. And so based off the items that you decide to sell, you do wanna create collections so that you can group the products together. And so you can have a t-shirt collection, a sweatshirt collection, as well as a hoodie collection if you choose to sell those specific items. And so as you continuously upload products to your shop, it will then be available for customers to purchase. And feel free to customize this shop to your liking. In order to do so, you're gonna to go to online store, then click themes, and then you can click from the pre-made template. And one really nice template is Spotlight as it showcases the different products that you're selling. And so you can try this template for free and get it already set up within your own store. It'll take a moment to load. You'll also have to allow cookies to fully see all the functionality of the theme page. Once you do allow the cookies, you're then gonna get full access to the different features available with the store. And so once you hit publish, the Spotlight theme or the theme that you chose is available. And so previously with the old design, we had a selection where you had to select the pills. Now we have a drop down window where you can select the color. And so based off what you prefer, you can then design your shop accordingly. Because you've reached this point, I have two special bonuses for you. The first bonus I have for you is access to the best free business checking account, and that is through Relay. And so if you use my affiliate link in the description below, you'll get a $50 bonus. All you have to do is deposit $1 and you'll get $50 free that you can then use to fund your business. The second bonus that I have for you is a special discount link to Hostinger. And so Hostinger will help you get a professional domain as well as email 
for your business for as little as $3 a month. And so if you want to have a professional Shopify store, you want to get some of these additional features. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to check out this video right here to get your LLC set up correctly.